Welcome to the Dehancer YouTube channel. In this video guide, we'll explain what highlight compression is and how to use the film compression tool to fine-tune your footage, avoiding a flat look and unwanted highlight clipping. Let's start with a bit of theory. Digital sensors and film emulsions react to light very differently. A sensor captures light like a measuring cup. Once it's full, it just overflows. That's why digital highlights clip so suddenly. Film, on the other hand, behaves more like a sponge. It absorbs light gradually and reaches saturation much more smoothly. As a result, film preserves highlight details better, even when overexposed. The image looks softer, with lifted midtones and a natural low contrast feel. To emulate the film light compressed tonal range, we built the film compression tool. It lets you fine tune how highlights are redistributed toward the midtones, while shadows and mid shadows stay untouched. To use this tool, adjust these four key parameters impact, white point, tonal range, and color density. Let's begin with an impact. This parameter determines the degree of compression. The higher the impact value, the more the highlights are pushed towards the midtones. Second is a white point. The white point sets the highlight clipping threshold. The lower the white point value, the closer it moves toward the midtones, meaning a wider range of highlights gets compressed. This increases the perceived contrast of the image. Conversely, increasing the white point shifts the threshold further from the midtones. As a result, contrast is reduced, clipping disappears, and the highlights may appear softer or slightly grayed out. Tonal range represents the width of the tonal range affected by the tool. At zero, there's no compression. At 100, compression spreads from the brightest highlights almost all the way down to the deepest shadows. The color density controls the color intensity within the compressed area. Different film types handle color in highlights differently. Negative films usually lose saturation in the highlights, while slide films stay more vibrant, but clip earlier. With color density set to zero, highlights are less saturated, like with negative film. At 100, colors stay rich, emulating the look of slide film. As a result, after applying the film compression tool, your footage looks more analog and becomes more flexible for further grading. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like it and subscribe to our channel for more tutorials. Thanks for watching.